situation, huh? The man's gonna pay kill you. Know. <laughs> You're all gonna pay for what you've done. Nothing you'll remember. Me? No! Don't read. Prison? What am I doing here? I have to get out of here. I won't stay here that long. Oh, shit! I'm so hungry. Ugh, it's gross. But it'll have to do for now. to you, Josh. What is this place? Everything is a blur. Well, now what? The library. I've been here before. Okay. So either they're all dead, or they forgot about the welcoming committee. It's me. I don't get it. Is this a memory? Mm, it's stuck. I've got to find a way to go further. What was I looking for again? Where did they disappear to? Ugh. What am I doing here? Glad I changed shoes. Here? Hazel and her damn plants. 
Basil. She wanted me to talk to the warlocks. Osborne is here. I have to find him. What's that doing here? You shouldn't have come here! What the hell? <laughs> warlocks attacked her. They're the ones who locked me up here. But why? I really gotta get out of here. Osborne's gonna have some explaining to do. A coin? What's that doing here? Come on, Amem. You can do it, girl. I'm not sure I'm hungry enough to feed on just anything. Strangely normal. Almost cozy. I should maybe read about this before I use it. Quite the program. My, oh my, that's quite a crowd. Hmm, the last industry is from 2016. I wonder how many vessels have been caught since then.
Let's see what that did. Come on, don't just stand there. Come with me. Please, Jay, I'm really not in the mood for this. I know, but you're not gonna let her spoil our evening, are you? Come on, I'm not gonna dance all by myself. Oh, you can be such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Jay, you really had a way with words, didn't you? What would I do without you? How long have I been here? Hours? don't like this place. serving the Chantry so loyally. Whoa. Three pouches. You really outdid yourself today. Oh, don't look at me like that. 
like that, I'm sure we'll be able to make something nice out of it. <laughs> if I were you, I'd be proud to be serving the Chantry so loyally. Um, there's no honor in feeding leeches. <laughs> Look at you. All high and mighty. is broken like someone ripped it off it took a colossal amount of strength to break it King. We already told you, witch. Not here. But I came here to see him. I don't have time to waste. I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. It's not that easy. You can't just walk away, Morgana. I've told you to stop calling me that. Okay, that's enough. I'm leaving. Grab her. What the hell are you doing? Let go! Oh, the bad fairy's got some fight in her. Get your hands off me, you psychos! Shut up, slut. We've seen you slithering around the king, Morgana. Whore! Let go of me! Come on! What are you waiting for? Make her drink! their voices in my head. It went on for three whole nights. Why put me through that again? What the hell is your problem? Head is gonna explode.
Compagnie Radio Nationale France. Mesdames, Messieurs, le Président vous parle. Française, Français, c'est le cœur lourd que je vous annonce avoir demandé à nos adversaires de mettre fin aux hostilités. Non par faiblesse, mais parce que la situation militaire l'imposait. Dès le 13 juin, cette demande d'armistice était inéluctable. Ce renoncement vous oh, surprend. Off, please. Vous non. You were right. They caved in. What do we do now? They won't stop there. If Bordeaux falls... We'll be long gone by the time Bordeaux falls. I thought Boston had refused our petition for asylum. They have, but I've got friends in the London court who could help us. What friends? People close to the Prince. They're arranging passage for us. It should only be a matter of days now. We left for London three days later. The authorization came just after that. Oh, I hate to admit it, but I don't know what we would have done without the Brits. smells like death. I'd rather do without it if I don't need it. I wonder how long he's been there. I hope they don't damage him. If he can't hear me, I want to try. So? It's unbelievable. I can hear him thinking as if he were conscious. Oh. Now it's my turn, Vance. I want to try. All right, hold your horses. Here you go. You are kidding. It's incredible. I know, right? Just wish it wasn't a one-way link. No matter how hard I try to communicate with him, he can't hear me. Anyway, enough messing around. I've got to prepare him for the next training session with the apprentices. Hmm. I hope they don't damage him. I'm not done studying him yet. King won't listen to you. Why not? He's the prince of this fucking town, isn't he? He's a milk. Do you seriously think you can trust him? So what am I supposed to do? Just close my eyes and forget it happened? 
So I told Hilda about what happened. Mem, listen to me. I know you want those psychos to pay for what they did to you. But don't confront King head on. Are you fucking kidding me? He's dangerous. Quentin has been weakened. If you humiliate him like that, he'll jump at the chance to make an example out of you. But I don't want to humiliate him. I want justice. They're his men, ma'am. If you accuse them, you'll be undermining his authority. Trust me, don't tell anyone. How can you say something like that? After what they did to me? I'm trying to protect you. Fuck you! My love, please. Leave me alone! Don't touch me! I just want to protect you. You Stop are... Stop saying that! They had their way for three fucking nights and you want me to just keep it to myself? Yes! Yes, I want you to keep quiet about it. Stop rushing into things without thinking about them first! Can't you see that's what got you into this Shut mess? Shut up! I swear to God. Shut up! Just... Shut the fuck up. I'm out of here. I never want to see you again. I left Boston that same night, alone, heartbroken. How could you do that to me? These visions, they seem so real, and yet I've forgotten them. What's wrong with me? There's something weird about this coin, like an aura. It must have been used for a ritual. A coin? What's that doing here? You never know, it could come in handy.
you sure? Yes. Oh. Look at me. I've been dreaming about this moment for six years. I never experienced anything so powerful. It was extraordinary. Mm, happiness like that wasn't built to last.
That's impressive. This tower is incredible. It's like it's from another time. I've never seen anything like it. Three circles, just like the platform. I should be able to do something with that. Something moved. Again.
worked. Come on, there's more.
gold dust the last one. Let the prince speak. M.M. My dear M.M. I thought I had made myself clear. Me too. I told you there would be consequences. Destroying one of my closest advisors. What did you expect? Do what you gotta do. I see. M.M. Lewis, you are charged with the murder of Sir Pro Bono, Prince of Gloucester and Knight of my house. How do you plead? Guilty. How could you dare attack one of my knights? He had it coming. If that's your defense. Hilda! Come here. My prince. Hilda McAndrews. Were you aware that your child was conspiring to assassinate one of my generals? I... no. I was unaware of that. But I'm sure that she regrets her actions. What? No! This entire incident has shaken her to the core. She wasn't herself. I know nothing can make up for what she did, but I assure you it won't happen again. You have my word. Your word. How nice. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow such a brazen act of rebellion to go unpunished. But I have heard your plea. M.M.'s unlife will be spared. You're too kind. But you will pay for her error. Excuse me? Gentlemen, seize her. What? And Brand. No! Hilda McGregor. What the hell are you doing? Let her go! For the insubordination I, of your I'm child. The one who destroyed him. I hereby sentence you to forever bear the mark of her crime. You can't! It was me! I remember my rage and my horror when they grabbed Hilda. She was right about King. I'm so sorry. My head. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. Like I'm whole again. I've got to get out of here now. How could I have forgotten that?
I'm out. Oh, who cares about Deneb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson, are you talking about the party? It, it wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... We thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? You. You're gonna start by dialing it down enough. You can't talk to me I could like care you. less. It's not you I've come to talk to. You gotta be kidding me. Where's your boss? Here. Miss Lewis, I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. What are you trying to tell me? I do hope for your sake that you have recovered all of your memories. Otherwise, they're gone. The process is more or less irreversible. You've got to be joking. I'm afraid not. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word. But that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. And just how am I supposed to go about proving something we didn't do? Ah, a rhetorical question. You're on thin ice. You know that, right? But you've made your point. I'll grant you that. Please continue. You have to believe me. We're not responsible for the attack at the party. The prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. The prince has sent someone there to find out what happened. It was a dangerous decision, but it was the only way to get to the bottom of this. And in the same breath, she sent me here to see if you were safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to... Finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? I'm 
I'm not sure I understand. You know exactly what it was about. Why are you asking me? I want to know if I can trust you. Or if you're trying to pull one over on me with your eloquence. So please continue. The agreement detailed regulation of the blood market in both of our cities. From what I understand, you're pretty good at stabilizing blood, and we've got humors covered with Dr. Dunham. Our terms agreed to combine Boston's Malkavian expertise with your Chantry's know-how to produce a better quality blood. But all is still in the planning stage. Nothing set in stone as of yet. Very well. I see you've done your homework. That's somewhat reassuring. I was afraid I would have to negotiate with an amateur. Negotiate? I'm here to reaffirm our alliance, Mr. Osborne, not redefine it. Oh, that's rather unfortunate. I'm sorry, my dear, but I won't be able to validate the agreement. Not without a reevaluation of the terms. Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this Alliance and right the wrongs that she's caused us? What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm, all right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella for now. Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. 
Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn, in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time, especially in Gwyndon King's day. Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking, but what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan. The result would be... Enormous. Precisely. I bumped into a few people during my... detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the forgotten, the invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice, or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood, like everyone else. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least, if it comforts you, I truly hope so. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course, but we have rituals to counteract its effects. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. No, I'm good. Very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses. Uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown.